We are in downtown Louisville. You can see the back of my car right now. What have you got? Let's show me. Show me the back of your car right now. <laughs> Worst case, I'm hoping for like a 117. Ooh. So on a scale of one to 10, how disappointed are you in that? Do we you go first? for a hug? We can do that. I'm a little uh, questionable on if we need alcohol in our candies, but uh, that is probably a bad idea, very well executed. All right, we are going to do a little bourbon hunting, but we're gonna do it a little different here today. We are in downtown Louisville at Old Forester. We are going to hit a bunch of the distillery gift shops this morning to see what bottles we can get. Now I know Michter's has been dropping Michter's 10 rye yesterday. They dropped Michter's 10 bourbon a couple of days ago. We're hoping that Old Forester has something. There's a security guard out front, which I don't think is a typical thing. Should be a good sign. I'm hoping for at least some 117s, but we'll see what we find. He goes, is this him? I'm okay. like, it sort of looks like him. It's like now you're just manifesting me is what you're doing, okay? <laughs> You shouldn't be looking that intensely at well, your screen. Well, you can't, part of the reason you should see the back of my car right now. What have you got? Let's show me. Show me the back of your car right now. <laughs> you can't say things like that and oh, not show me now. Good. My name's Chris. Ben. Chris. Hey, TJ. Chris, yeah. From Chicago. Home to a certain team that is known as the Bears. Chips, you've got chips. That's well, good. That's a good job. You found some chips. You always got the snacks. Here's the treat. Ooh, nice. Private selection turkey. Signed by Jimmy Russell. Yep, we ran into Jimmy yeah. Russell yesterday. I have to get a few bottles because it's me and my other son. So we made it to Buffalo Trace. Okay. Friday Blanton's. Blanton's. Loaded up on Went Castle. To Castle. Castle. That's Castle. a fun tour. Did you do the tour? It is. Yeah, it's a nice property. Tour. Single Barrel Evan Williams. We got, we Been got seeing got those a lot lately, though. Uh-oh. It's in a box. It's fancy. Yeah, well, this was the tree. Ooh. Oh Fill the bottle yourself. Dude, I got to do that. I still got to do that. I still haven't done it. We went, we went there for the tour yesterday to do a tasting, and the guy goes, we still got a couple openings for the 130 filling. And I'm like, oh, okay, here's the credit card. <laughs> oh, are you over here for the Old Forester? Yeah, we, actually, something? we're doing our land. We're doing a tasting here at Old Forester and then heading home because we've been out here since Wednesday. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. You'll let me cut? wonder if he'll just go ahead and let me in. It's good. I'll wait my turn, man. I don't. I don't need any special treatment. I'm not a diva. Bruzel guy? Yeah, Bruzel. See all kinds of your stuff. Especially. You mind if I get with this guy, though? Because he's with I me. I saved your okay. spot. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it. Worst case, I'm hoping for like a 117. They had that last time we were here. Did they? They've been dropping great stuff all week, and I never can make it here when they do it. I've always got like something at 10 o'clock in the morning, an hour away. So there's apparently Facebook groups for each one of these distilleries where people post the bottle that they have for sale that day and when they sell out or if somebody goes by and it's sold out. I've been just checking those every day, just in agony. All right, the doors have opened, and we're about to find out what we're in for. You got something you're hoping for? We'll always take a birthday bourbon, I guess. Oh, right? Yeah, I mean, at this time of year? I don't know. Single barrel rye. Ah, it's not super exciting. I've got a bunch of those already. Let's see if there's a 117 now. Nope, just single barrel rye today. Well, let's bounce. So on a scale of one to 10, how disappointed are you in that? Weird. First time here, so you know I'll take it. And that is the distillery hunting game. Now you can wait till somebody posts it online, but if you do that, they're all liable to be gone before you get here. So you gotta stop and swing by and see what you find and move on. So this one's gonna be fast paced. We're gonna run down to Michter's and see if we can't get lucky there. Following the local here. And he's like, yeah, parking down here is tough. And uh, there's all the parking. It's all always the, the time the that you say that, yeah. that you'll have plenty of spots. Of course, there's a big, um, inappropriate gold statue over there for some, for no reason. There's a famous statue that's a work of art. Why don't we just recreate that for no reason here? What is this like supposed to be like the artsy yeah. district? Is yes. that what this is supposed to be? No, uh, it's the science and museum area. So yeah, you could say the artsy area. Okay, I get you. There's another more artsy area too though. Okay, so this is the wannabe artsy area. Yeah, it's the start of the bourbon trail but they've added a lot of different uh, things like events and they bring the distillers out. It's a really good time. And that's new as of this last year, opened up Bardstown. It's an experience from the distillery. How's it going? It's going on, man. Oh, not much. You doing all right? Good. Have they got anything? BYO only and it's probably gonna be sold out in the next 30 seconds. Ah. No limited release this morning. What'd you say they had? BYO. BYO? Yep, ball your own. own. That's an all experience. they got? That's all they got. Well, Saturdays must suck for this. Last Saturday was good. Last Saturday was Barrel Strength Rye Package. What are you up to today? Uh, trying to hunt, man. Yeah. Trying to find whiskey. What are you doing? Uh, we're doing the Michter's uh, Legacy Tour. Oh, fun. And then uh, making it up as we go. Uh, yeah, we just thought we'd hit distilleries this morning and see what they had in the gift shop. We're 0 for 2 so far. 
I mean, they had Barrel Street Rye down in Old Forester, but I don't, I've got plenty of those. Just beyond here is that chocolate shop. I'm going to take you in there. We're going to a chocolate right shop now. Yeah, chocolate shop. Where's, where was the Evan Williams thing? Uh, right down on the left. So we're going to do that too. You want to yep. go? Yeah, let's do it. Gosh, hey, TJ. What's up, brother? Nice I to meet you. I watched your YouTube recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate Alex. it. Alex. Alex, nice, nice to meet you. I make her watch you sometimes. Really? Yeah. So he holds you down and. Yeah. Hey, yeah. TJ, yeah. nice to meet you. That Four Roses drop was big yesterday. <laughs> the Daddy Day? I got two. It was a 16 year tier six, 138 proof, 136 yeah. proof, 136 proof. Now, we were at a, an event last night where they released them. I hear there might be more dropping today. Thousand dollars on secondary? They're th the four roses. Yeah. I told you. I told you they were about a thousand dollars. Mine will be drank every single drop. I'm gonna hold one of them for our moderators in Discord and all that stuff when we have our event in October. So we're gonna pop that. It's gonna be a special bottle. Although I would like a thousand dollars. That would be yeah. nice right now. Yeah. <laughs> one pay for the other. We got our little bottle filled deal. Well, y'all take it easy. It's nice to meet y'all. This guy got a little knob creek. Oh yeah. Yeah, and this is just a little half truffle. Thank you. And this is before it gets a fancy outer coating. But you should get a little bit of wood tone, a little bit of spice here, but really should just be a great bourbon. Of course you like it. You brought us here. You be the judge. I didn't bring us here. He no, brought that's what I'm saying. saying. He, oh, yeah. he likes it. Oh, he okay, brought okay, it. Gotcha. So. You also know if you like it. Yep. Those are good. There we go. Thank you. All right. I'm a little uh, questionable on if we need alcohol in our candies and things, like, you know, boozy milkshakes and things just seem like a bad idea. But uh, that is probably a bad idea, very well executed. How much is your top shelf tasting? Oh, uh, well, it's $8 uh, to do four quarter ounce pours. And then in addition, uh, we've also added uh, three levels of chocolate tasting with the bourbon. So how much is that? Uh, if you wanted to do the fanciest one, it's gonna be another $4, so you'd be $12. $12. And they got some good stuff behind the bar too. I've, I've sat down here and done this quite a few times and I'll tell you, it's excellent. So you basically just pick the bottle that you think would go best with your chocolate and then uh, you get the truffles from that. They've got some Jefferson's over here. What do you think about Jefferson's bourbon? Some of them hit, some of them don't. I don't know, I haven't had a whole lot of them and the ones that I have had, I wasn't overly impressed. Do you think it gets better if you put it on a boat? No. Mictor's in a box over here. Put him in uh, recording for. I've got a little YouTube channel where oh, we just fun. do bourbon stuff. Fun. Well, appreciate that. So we try to downplay the YouTube channel. I know a lot of folks like a little YouTube channel. I, it still feels like it sometimes. Still feels like a nice community, nice small community that hasn't gotten out of control. But then you walk down the streets of Louisville and you think, okay, yeah, apparently it's a lot. But we also don't want to freak people out when we're in there filming either. And they're like, oh my God you know, 100,000 plus people may see this. Don't want to cause them angst in the moment. This is probably the most dead I've seen this on a Saturday morning. Pretty calm. Yeah, I don't What's know. What's up with that? Nobody's releasing any bottles. That's it. We yeah, got... everybody knows but us. Apparently there's a super secret society where everybody knows and they just don't come down here. And we're not in that. Hey, yes, sir. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Well, now it's awkward. We, we were, right, which, which one are we going? You start, do we you go first. Hug? We can do that. We should right. bring it home. <laughs> Are you guys doing a tour? No, we were just trying to hit all the gift shops here to see what bottles we could find, and so far it's none. Oh, anything here? Have you been up there? We have, we're just let's go. Ready. Let's head. Let's head all up. Right. Let's see what we got. You guys got anything special out today? Seven to twelve years, and then they put it in um, in sherry for four years. So, like I said, they only made six barrels of it, and we've got that today. It's up on the top row in that second section past the. Cash registers, but everything else is stuff we usually have. I'm assuming that one. Yep. A masterful blend of five various Evan Williams expressions, each of these well crafted to have been married together to form a rare and unique bottling of bourbon. I think she's talking about the select stock. She's not talking about that. Oh, this one here? Yeah, which they had a bunch of those. I hear those are, you got to be into that. What's she talking about? I think we're going to skip on those. If I meet up with you l later on this evening, I'll bring one of those because I do have one. Oh, did you? Do you like it? I haven't opened that one. Okay. The uh, one I opened is the one you would not like. Well, then just don't, just don't worry about it. <laughs> it's certain woods that you don't prefer. Oh, it's got amber run in it. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're going to actually go hunting after this. Not in this video, next video. So we're I'm being a little selective. We've gone a little crazy on this one. We bought some Four Roses off camera last night. Those ones they were talking about earlier those 16 year four roses got those off camera last night so got to be a little selective here although that master's blend looked like it could be interesting any stores down here then downtown louisville worth going to 
Evergreen's probably the best one that's close, or even remotely close. Is that Everything, the same one I went to yeah, in, the, yeah. in the video? There's a couple of them, but yeah. Okay. Did you do one downtown with McCormick? Or did you do, I you don't did the know. one up in Prospect? I think, yeah, well, I think we were in Prospect for that so one. So there's there's another, it's the same store, but you went here. To, you went to the brick building this one, one right? Good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the better one. We could take you just for seeing it is Justin's House of Bourbon, the notorious. Let's do it. Whiskey guys. We're going to go to Justin's House of Bourbon to see if we can find anything. We've hit all the distilleries down here that might release something I would be interested in. So if you're in downtown Louisville, there's really like four places. Uh, Old Forester, Michter's, there is Bardstown and Evan Williams. But we didn't go to Bardstown just because I was out there earlier this week. I've got everything. I bought some bottles from them. Um, Y'all probably saw in the tour out there at least one bottle. And I did just get that Disco 11 not long ago, which is pretty freaking good. So we're gonna head to Justin's House of Bourbon, see what we can find there while we're down in the area. Apparently we are losing our companion here. So you are moving on. You moving are on. not continuing to the next leg of our journey. No, gotta go pick up my Jill. Uh-oh. Yeah, my wife's Jill too. Really? Oh yeah. Well, congratulations. Yes, I know, right? We're... She's the second best Jill I know. I know, right? Pouring <laughs> samples here in the street, street samples. Oh, that's the 16 year four roses. Yeah, give me your review right now. Is this one you got last night? Yeah. Wow. That's the tier six, 16 year, uh, 136 proof. Feel the roof of your mouth. It's, yeah. It's good. Well, thanks. So, good meeting you. Perfect good meeting you. end. It was, it was a pleasure. Good meeting yes, you sir. too, man. This, Justin's House of Bourbon. Cinder and Smoke. Green River pick. I just bought like two of those. Cash strength, Green River for 45 freaking dollars. That's a buy if you see one. High rye. What's a what's a high rye? Uh, should be standing on the top right there. Okay, 139. Yeah, that's about what I see them going for. Have you had the high rye? You like it? I haven't tried it yet. Yep, I've had it down at the distillery. It's I'm starting great. to really get into high rye bourbons. That that's one I would love to run into and pick up right there. So Alabama ABC a couple of years ago when those released, whenever that was, miscategorized them and put them on table three so you could get as many as you want. And so the first few, few first handful of people through got every one of them. They were all gone. Yeah. I think they were supposed to be table one or table two. So table one, you could just get one. Table two, you can get two, but they gotta be different things. Yeah. Table three was just, I think, I think table three might've been grab two of it. You, each person could get two and then table four was everything. There's a place in Louisville that's got, they're sitting on a ton of them, but they want 400 bucks each. Jay Mattingly, the greatest two ounces in whiskey. I haven't seen that one before. I bought this, the Rise of Robots here the other day. Yeah, I bought oh, yeah. that. Yeah, did you I try it? I gave it away. The, oh. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. The guy just really liked it. I thought it was pretty good. So that's a set of movies that are gonna mirror the bourbons. So those are actually the movie art for those movies. They had yeah. them down there, art eatables. I think that's what he was saying. So I bought that one, he liked it. I just, he was like, I don't know. So I bought it, he liked it, so I just gave it to him. 125th anniversary for Roses. So it seems like about once a week, somebody reaches out and tries to sell me one of these. And I'm like, I'm, just, I'm not that guy. Yeah. I'm not that guy, I'm not that guy. That warehouse C. There we go. Hey, look, it's, unobtainium. it's free. You see that label on it? Zero dollars. That's just for the box. I don't even know what a silver edition Blanton's is. The silver one has the silver horse on it, and I think it, it was replaced by one of the overseas, either the red or the black. So it was a Japanese only release at one point with silver French. horses? French, okay. So it was just the French release all had were silver editions at one point? Yeah, I think there were just two, I think there were like two releases. I want to say I don't five and I'm not. Okay. So limited releases to the French market. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I was just hoping when I went by there, they were gonna be dropping something on that shelf right there. Just drop one of those while I'm there. They did not. Or for the tour, we, we did a barrel pick and bought two barrels. You know, I was hoping that was the yeah. gift. And it was, instead it was an Elijah Craig hand grenade. Oh my God. <laughs> I got to have these uh, last weekend and I'll tell you, uh, the Ascension is really good. So do you know the story on these? No. So the Ascension is more like a Kentucky bourbon. Your Revelation is more like a, a Tennessee, but they, they don't do the Lincoln County pro process on it. So it's still a little bit stronger. They so don't mellow it out. still pretty much a bourbon. Yep. And so those are the two that they released. And then they have one that's a mashup of the two. I think it, um, it's not exploration. I can't remember what they call that last one, but it's kind of a neat story. They claim it's not a celebrity bourbon, even though it's a celebrity bourbon. Right. They're doing things different than most celebrity bourbons. They're not looking to make a quick buck and then leave it. They're they're trying to make a brand. There's your Mictors 20, man. You got it. You got it. Just go ahead and do it. I'll help you drink it. You got one laying around here? We just drink it with you. 
Wish I did. I had a pour of it last year. I was at uh, Evergreen in Bardstown, and a gentleman bought me a pour. This is a $2,000 MSRP bottle of whiskey. And I'm not talking secondary. I'm not talking about you bought it for $100 and it's two grand. This is literally $2,000 MSRP, Mictors 20 year. We are at Evergreen Liquors in Bardstown, Kentucky, and I'm going to see if they can catch me before I get to the door. <laughs> Why, I don't know, it was like $200. Yeah. And I tried to explain to him, dude, we've been drinking all day. I'm yeah. not going to appreciate, and I did not. I, it was good, but yeah. I did not appreciate it for what it was, because yeah. it was just a long day after the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Right. I need to go back and try it when my palate actually can recognize what it is. Which one? The one in the middle right here. Uh, oh, the, uh, yeah, what's your tradition? Uh, yeah. There's a couple of those bottles that came in the jelly bean style bottles. That one's from 94. I'm gonna buy one of your uh, Green Rivers, but can I also get one of those Ascensions? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. How much is a, is a pour of that uh, Warehouse C? Do you want to drink? Oh. There you go. Go for it, man. Appreciate it. So apparently I struck out, even though he scored there on that Green River and that Ascension. You know, it is about the hunt just as much as it is about finding things. We saw some awesome bottles there in Justin's House of Bourbon. Hung out with some cool folks, met a lot of cool people. And really, what I love so much about whiskey is that this is a social hobby. And so you go out, you hunt, you make new friends. Hunting, just like drinking, is a lot better when you have some cool people to share it with. So find some folks, get out, go hunting, find something or don't. You had a good time, you made some good friends. Appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. We'll see y'all in the next one.